WandaVision showrunner talks a little bit about the Darkhold and how it ties into previous Marvel projects. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CV Nostalgia and we have a little update on WandaVision and the Darkhold. Well, as many of you have been talking about, the Darkhold, which did appear on WandaVision, was also a pretty big part of Marvel TV. It actually appeared in both Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and The Runaways. So there's been a little bit of speculation on if it's the same version, and now writer Jack Schaffer and director Matt Jackman have taken on the question. But before we break all this down, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, don't forget about the big giveaway. We're going to give away this PlayStation 5 at 25,000 subscribers. All you have to do to get in on this giveaway is be a subscriber and leave a comment. Well, we didn't find out until the final episode of WandaVision that the book we saw in Agatha's basement was indeed the Darkhold. Now, this wasn't the first time we saw the so-called Book of the Damned on Marvel television, because it was featured pretty prominently in both Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and The Runaways. So, this leads us to the question of, are they the same book? Well, if you've been following discussion forums, you'll find that fans are pretty divided. And while it's possible it's the same book, it doesn't look like Marvel Studios looked at Marvel Television's creative decisions and allowed it to influence them. Recently, WandaVision director Matt Jackman was asked by Screen Rant about the book, and he chose his words very, very carefully. He said, I wouldn't want to say too much. I can't say too much, except that obviously she's studying up and learning a lot from the Darkhold, and we'll see where it goes. We designed it anew. We didn't look at the other Darkholds that had been designed. It's part of the Marvel Universe, though, so I would imagine it's the same book. I don't know exactly how it was used in those other shows, because I wasn't a regular viewer. But the Darkhold has comic origins. Its mythology will continue to be developed. Now, conversely, showrunner Jacques Schaffer was asked the same question by the site, and her response was even more vague. She said, I've been getting this question, and I don't have a hard and fast answer. We are not looking at that book. This was the Darkhold for this story. So, this obviously should make this as clear as mud. Personally, I don't think they're the same Darkhold. I know lots of shows appear to be tied into various aspects of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but in reality, they're really adjacent, and the films were not influenced by the shows, the shows were just influenced by the films. It very well could be the same Darkhold, but I'm pretty sure Kevin Feige will never acknowledge that. If the project is not Kevin Feige developed, for the most part, if he hasn't said so specifically, it's not part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, obviously they could give us more background on the Darkhold, and we might get some contradictory details. If it were me, I would love for the Runaways to be canon in the MCU, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. So what do you guys think? Do you think the Marvel Television version of the Darkhold and the one that appeared on WandaVision are the same book? And if so, how did it get into the hands of Agatha Harkness? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not going to get any updates. Peace.